Dave, thank you. We learned just a bit ago Denver's executive director of public safety is going to step down early next year. Murphy Robinson has just been in place in that role since 2020 and saw the police department through some pretty tough times. New at 5 Problem Solvers investigative reporter Lori Jane Gleha live now with more details here. Lori Jane. Jeremy, the city says a nominee to replace Robinson will be coming in the next few days. The Department of Public Safety oversees seven agencies, including police, fire, and the sheriff's office. Robinson wasn't available to explain on camera why he's stepping down this afternoon, but in a statement he said he did not approach the decision lightly and that serving in this role has been one of the greatest honors of his life. He took the top spot at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic and just prior to the George Floyd protests, which led to a slew of lawsuits against the city. During that time, the Office of the Independent Monitor also released a massive report calling out extremely troubling police tactics that were used during the protests. The Citizen Oversight Board has been working with Robinson to implement a transformation office in the city that would work on recommendations to reimagine public safety, transparency, and oversight. I spoke to the chair of that oversight board today who said they are all just learning the news and they have concerns for the future of some of the changes that they were trying to make with news of this departure. Murphy has undertaken what he has promised to be an aggressive agenda for change in the public safety departments, none of which has yet been realized. So there's a lot of work ahead that his departure uh, creates risks of impacting. The city has pointed out several accomplishments during Robinson's tenure, including hosting the 2021 MLB All-Star Game and successfully erecting the Pepsi Center to handle COVID testing of more than 100,000 people. We reached out to the mayor's office for a comment about Robinson, who was also appointed as a deputy mayor this year. Mayor Hancock called him an outstanding public servant and a true asset to our city and our residents. I'm Lori Jangley, Fox 31.